Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to check one uh, short URL package. It's from this uh, guy here. And this package has 600 stars. So for that, I have created a fresh Laravel application, Laravel 9.5. And this is just the default welcome plate. So here we have the roads and the resources is just the welcome view. Okay, now let's go to the package installation. And we need to copy this command here. Go to the terminal and paste that in. Next one, we need to run the PHP artisan vendor publish. Okay paste that in, hit enter and also we need to run the php artisan migrate ok artisan migrate and after that we need to use this package now so how we can use the quick start is just a the quickest way to get started with creating a short URL is by using the snippets below. So let's copy this. The make method returns a short URL model that you can grab the short URL from. So let's go and inside the web routes, let's paste this one here. Uh, okay, let's change this to be my address here laraveller.com i remove this short url here and i'm going to add that short url in here compact short okay let's save this and go to the views welcome and I go down I'm going to remove every thing for styles with not don't need styles here. Okay. And also let's remove the everything. And just add a div. And here I'm going to check if uh, we have a short URL display an anchor tag with shref and here i'm going to add that short url we added here okay this one and also display in here so dollar sign short so let's save it go to the browser and refresh and yeah here it is the short url and uh, the destination is to go to the laraveller.com so let's click and yeah we redirected to the laraveller.com okay and yeah we have this short url here And we have some uh, the single usage uh, forward query params, track visits is one, redirect status code 301, track IP address one, and all of the checks here. Okay, now let's go and see what we can do other things. So we can add the custom key. So let's copy this one. And before the make, let's before the make method, add that. So URL key and custom key. If I save, now here is going to be that custom key. So refresh and yeah. We have a custom key here, and also if I uh, click, we go to the laravel.com. Good. 
what we can do other. Also, I'm going to check the database, refresh, and yeah, we have the second short URL. Destination is laraveller.com. The URL key now is custom key. Good. Next one is the add the track visits. And if I open here, the track visits yeah, is by default this one. And if I add this, it's going to, it's not going to change anything, but if I add the track visits to false. So let's add this first. Uh, let's remove now the custom key and add the track visits. Let's save, go to the browser, refresh. And yeah, we have this short URL. Let's go to the database, refresh here. And yeah, the track visits is one. But if I add the false here, okay, let's save this. Go to the browser and refresh. Uh, refresh also the database. Okay, now we have the track visits to be zero is false so we're not uh, and also if i go to the short url visits refresh we need to visit the url to be here so let's uh, open this okay we have the short url here short url id but we are not uh, taking the IP address or everything. So if I uh, remove of this false and uh, go again to the app, refresh and click here. Okay. Now we have a new URL here, which uh, the track visits is one. And if I come and refresh, yeah, we have now the IP address, uh, operating system, operating system version, Chrome, and so on. We can override all of that. So let us see track visits and also the track IP address, uh, track visits and track browser, browser version. We have also the operating system, operating system version, uh, div device type, and we have this referer URL, which is uh, the app.test. Okay. This we have this a uh, single usage, so single use. And if I click, if I copy this and single use here, now if I go and create new URL with single use, now I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay. So now, uh, if I copy this link and uh, open in the new browser here, paste that link in, hit enter, we have 404. Okay, so let's create another one. And now if I copy this. The first time we have one visit so if i copy uh, paste and hit enter yeah we navigate here but if i open again paste that we have the 404 just for one single use okay next one what we have we have uh to be secure so to add the https 
Also, you can pass uh, the parameters here. Uh, change the status code to be 302. And this is very nice. We can add the day here. And we can use also the short URL facade instead of the builder. And uh, that's it. We can change. We can change the. Uh, so by default, it's coming with this short URL here, short and the key. But we can uh, change that. Okay, uh, so the prefix, we can add what we want and disable default route. Okay, max k length is going to be 10. By default, you can change and override that. So here is the to get the short URL visits. I'll find by key or find by destination URL. And I think it's good a uh, package. Okay friends, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.